A ship is floating in water. Unexpectedly, it tilts in one direction. What do you think will happen? The ship is listed to one side. List is the transverse inclination of the ship. Listing of the ship can be due to change in the internal distribution of weights such as loading, discharging and shifting of weights. When you load weight to the bottom of the ship in the starboard side, the ship is listed in the same direction in which you load. When the ship is listing, the center of gravity G shifts to a new position. Observe the shift of G when you load weight to the bottom of the ship in the port side. The ship then lists to the port side. Similarly, when you load weight on the deck of the ship in the starboard side, the ship lists to the starboard side. The ship will not list if the weight is loaded to the center bottom of the ship or to the center deck of the ship. Consider the case of a ship that has been loaded evenly. If you discharge weight from the port side deck, the ship lists to the starboard side. Observe the shift in the center of gravity G when the ship is listing. When you discharge weight from the sides but not from the center of the ship, G is shifted to the opposite direction from where the weight is discharged. If you discharge weight from the center of the deck, the ship does not list but there is a shift in G's position. Observe G when you discharge weight from the center of the ship's bottom. The ship does not list but G shifts to a new position. If you shift the position of one of the weights on the deck and the bottom of the ship as shown, G shifts to a new position and as a result the ship lists. Notice the shifting position of G when the weight is moved vertically. What do you infer? It does not list during the vertical shifting of weights. Consider a ship with displacement delta. A weight W is shifted from port side bottom to the starboard side of the deck. SH is the horizontal shift and SV is the vertical shift of the weight. Observe the shift of the center of gravity of the ship from its initial position G to its final position G1. The horizontal shift of center of gravity GGH and the vertical shift of center of gravity GGV is calculated using formulae shown. Consider a ship with displacement delta. Its center of gravity is at G and kg is the distance of COG from the keel. Suppose you are loading new weights W1, W2 and W3. Final kg can be calculated by taking the moment about the keel. Final kg is the total moments by total weights.